Yo, how's it going? It's Jeff from SparkPoint. Today I'll be showing you how to create these five basic shape transitions in five minutes. Let's go. All right, let's get started. So first things first, I just want to note that our frame rate is 24 and our duration is three seconds. For our first transition, we're going to go ahead and press G and draw a straight line across the composition and hit align. Our stroke should be set to 1200, open the drop down menu and open trim paths. When you have trim paths, go ahead and animate and hit the end keyframe and drag it to the 14th frame. When you do that, go ahead and animate like so. Grab the two start keyframes and drag them over to the 16th frame. After you do that, ease. If you hit Control Shift K, it'll open up the keyframe velocity menu. I usually just type 78 by 78, and you should have something that looks like this. Go ahead and duplicate your shape layer and drag the first one over two frames. Go ahead and select the lower layer and change the color to a darker color. Now you've offset your animation. Go ahead and duplicate it one more time and drag it two frames later than the top. Now you have something that looks like this. There you go, first transition, check. Now for this next transition, we're gonna go ahead and double click this rectangle here. And then we're gonna set the anchor point to the bottom left corner of the rectangle. Go ahead and scale this thing very, very big. After you do that, go ahead and tap the rotation stopwatch and then type in negative 90. Grab the scrubber, drag over to one second and then type in 90. From here, you will go ahead and ease. And for this ease, I will go ahead and use 80 by 30. And you should have something that looks like this. Now from here, all you have to do is duplicate it. And this time you'll move over the top two layers, two frames each. And then we'll go ahead and change the bottom two colors to a darker color. And there you have it. A nice, smooth shape transition again. On to the third transition. Go ahead and double click this rectangle again. Zoom out and make it big. We're gonna go ahead and click R at 45 and then drag it till the square touches the corner right there. Create a position keyframe, drag over to about the 12th frame after the first second and drag over to where the square is touching that corner again. From there all you have to do is ease, F9, Control Shift K and do 78 by 78. Duplicate, hit U, Highlight the keyframes, right click, and then hit time reverse keyframes. Now, both of these are moving across the screen. Now to offset this, we duplicate it, drag both of these under, and then drag the top two layers over two frames, and then change the color below to a darker color. And, boom. There you have it. Now transition number four is a little different. These two layers are gonna be alpha layers, which is why I highlighted them yellow. Go ahead and make a circle by clicking on the ellipse tool, click and drag while holding shift, and then move the anchor point by pressing Y and dragging to the center of the circle. Hit S for scale, create a keyframe, drag it over to the 16th frame, and then type zero. Now this, we need it to be centered, and then fill the whole screen. Now we're going to ease, duplicate the layer offset by two frames, and then duplicate two more times, and then tuck the yellow layers right under the two new duplicated layers. After that, go ahead and highlight both of these and then change both of them to alpha. From there, all we have to do is move the keyframes over when the screen is full of color. We also forgot to change the color, go ahead and do that real quick. And you should have what looks like this. And last but not least, let's go ahead and create a square by clicking and dragging while holding shift. Now let's make the square nice and big. Rotate the square 45 degrees, align it in the middle, and then create a position keyframe. We're going to drag on over to where it's just barely off the screen. Drag your scrubber over to the 12th frame after the first second, click and drag. Now we're just gonna duplicate, and then we're gonna right click and hit time reverse keyframes. And then just ease for the last time. And boom, there you have it. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell notifications, and comment below. Let me know if there's anything you want to know or any things you guys want to see. We'll see you in the next one.